goodness. I'm all kinds of messed up, dog. I'm all kinds of ah, messed up. Ah, that's what I'm talking about, man. Nah, man. man, we come out. We got that quality. Quality, dog. Yeah. You Top. don't get this kind of quality. It's all random. I'm, you know I'm what I mean? Ball. We start, we start for the, uh, the, 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 the last, uh, you know, stream, but we back now. I think we got it right this time. Uh, so uh, let us know in the chat. That shit, man. Let's move in. Yeah, let's all right, we'll skip, we're skipping the rest. We're going, we're going straight straight in. <laughs> uh, hopefully, we got people joining uh, here soon. But, man, we got to get straight into it, straight into the topics. Um, all I, right. I don't see, hold on, I don't, I don't know if people are joining in. There we go, Matt. Yo, Matt. Yo. Matt, what up? All right. Hey, Matt, uh, I'm sorry for not posting that poll last week, but as you can see, a lot of bad things happened. I didn't really want to get on YouTube after that. Dang, this dude, this dude was distraught, Matt. This dude was upset. All right. Uh, I didn't so, really care what the people had to say after that went on the polls. <laughs> I don't know if uh, – let, let, let me know if uh, y'all see the video pop up on YouTube because I know we just had to shut down our last one. Uh, but, uh, okay. yeah, man. My bad. You don't mm -hmm. see it? Oh, yeah. Oh, come on, man. I'm watching right. this. Okay, here we go. All right, cool, cool, cool. I see it. All right, so yeah, man, let's get let's get straight to it, man. J. Cole apologized. J. Cole apologized on stage at his Dreamville concert, uh, Dreamville Festival. Uh, he was bringing out all his friends, all his people, and then he goes ahead and, and drops an apology. Says, "Hey, I'm uh, if you know Kendrick, if you want to diss, I'll take it on on the chin." He said, uh, "You know, I mean, yeah." He, nah, he, he nah, 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 nah. You need to get the transcript, dog. You got to say it what he matter. said. It don't even matter. No, no, because everybody already heard that shit already. No, look, come on. It don't even matter no more. Yeah. We already heard all that shit. We heard it a bunch of times. I watched he it. He said he couldn't disbelief. sleep. I watched it in disbelief. So, B Dog, I know you, you know, you going through the stages of grief. Um, even I've been shocked. And I, but I wanted to let you get your shit off man what you got to see uh, i said i'm going last i got to go last but i will say just for a little snippet um i've never saw this coming i would have never thought in a million years to see this coming this is like the word has this ever happened in a beef before like is this a thing a nigga apologize in round 1 never like this no never nobody yeah never, yeah not like this no. Yeah, it's bad, man. This shit died, man. Why, Look, why, why are you waiting? So Just go ahead. Go be dog. Why you why you want to go last? Yeah, I like, I like yeah, to true. hear the hate. I like to build it up. I like to build All it right. up. But I mean, go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. All right, Bob. Right, go so ahead. So you're not me. Take Cole Hater. Go ahead. Yeah, I already don't like this dude, and I started to try to give him some love, man. I started to try to to, to believe in this guy. It looked like he was going to, you know, come up and jump up and grab the gold medal. But uh, nah, man, this dude uh, basically to me destroyed his career. Like, yo, we listened to the mixtape on what was that Saturday? Yeah, played it. Mm -hmm. I played it again on Sunday. For this nigga. I woke up Monday and I was like, I've never listened to this dude again in my life. <laughs> so this is type of shit. So for me, um, I you know I already I lost all respect for him pretty much. Um, I, I wonder. That's why I wanted to know how you was gonna feel about it, since you was supposed to be his fan. You know, you're, you're a big fan. Um, yeah. I'm, I mean, my my takes aren't wavering, so ain't nothing you're gonna say to change my mind or how I feel. But I do have a question for you. Um, after your take, do you still respect him as an elite artist? Is there still a big three for you? Like, are you gonna listen to his next album? Like, how you big three? I'm gonna listen to his album, man. I mean, I just. It's, it's like, I, I don't know how to describe it, Doug. Like, I just got no desire to hit this dude, get on no song talking about how great he is. He just cannot ever say anything about that again. So all it's he can rap sad. about then is love and so, uh, I don't know what else he can rap about. I mean, yeah, I, I don't, he then that's that's it. It's, it's, you know, so you just lost a big chunk of your content that I was believing in. Um, I thought you were showing the skills and displaying that that level of uh, of emceeing. So now that now that we know that this is how you bow out at the worst possible time, this is a this is a huge choke job. I mean, I don't know how to describe the seppuku on the stage. Like it's <laughs> exactly. the, you know, it's the, the craziest shit I ever seen 
in in rap beef. You know, Jigga cried. Um, but he's but but this dude stood on stage and apologized for nothing. That part. That's <laughs> the, this is the part. My thing is uh, so I'm, I'm mad about two things. Now I don't feel as strongly as I, I feel like B Dog is going to come with. So I don't know why he want to wait till last, but I'll just go ahead. My my thing is I feel two things. One is he doesn't have anything to apologize for. His diss was people were clowning him because it was too mild. His dis wasn't he didn't say anything disrespectful. He didn't say anything personal. He didn't say anything that was needed apology. Like he said, he said I didn't like your second album. It was sleepy and people gassed it. Like and or your last album was trash. Like to me, we we do it. We do this podcast. We call music certain music mid or trash or whatever. That's normal. Like that's to me is just normal having an opinion on music. That's not a personal thing. If you feel personal, that's how you attacked, fucking the street. Exactly, that's how you would talk. So, like, you get on a track and you say your opinion. That's nothing to apologize for to me. That it's it's weak to apologize for your opinion, and it makes it like because this look, dog. It's seven minutes. Joe. He went in there. He wrote this quick. This is what he really felt. Come on, you can't take it back now. You really think like now? All the Kendrick fans are like, oh, see, I knew Mr. Morale was good. He was lying. No, this is what he really he he came out. He really felt that, but he didn't like saying it publicly. Like to me, he's just too kind, too positive to want to say. I think that I didn't like that. So I didn't like that album. Like, Why? I don't even understand. He never. He, the thing is, like, he didn't question his manhood or something. This dude said he couldn't sleep about it, man. Like, what? Right. That's like calling the fat person at the stove fat. Like, hey, they they outside. You see him? They're not wearing big, you know, it's obviously fat. You know what I mean? Like, come on, dog. Like, people be on some, on some new stuff these days and be like, oh, we can't. Oh, man, don't say the obvious, dog. It's clear as day, bro. What, what you want me to, to look at and say? So, to me, these albums, he's he not twisting the truth here anyway. So, what is wrong with you where you would be this scared to say your opinion, man? Be dog, I'm surprised, man. I don't, like I said, dog. Here you know, we go. All right. Clear out, clear out, clear out. See, this is what I needed. This is like, when Goku asks for everybody to give him his energy, this hate is like, oh, it makes me feel so good. I need more hate on this nigga. I hate this nigga right now. And you understand, like, uh, it warms my heart to hear niggas hate on him now. Man, I've been a J. Cole fan for a long time. You know what I'm saying? Like, we've been in the trenches having to defend this nigga. Everybody, all oh, his music so sleepy. Every Friday when he draws J. Cole music, sleepy, this and that. All right, you gotta live through that. I like his music, but I can't say nothing. Internet cr- cr- clowning him, whatever. So, these past two years, my man used to be my man, has been on a run, a run, undeniable run. And I'm like, oh, he gearing up. Like, he's finally doing it. He's finally doing the things that everybody said he can't do. So, now I'm proud, J. Cole fan. Everybody know I'm J. Cole fan, Stan. Number one. Mm-hmm. This nigga built me all the way up just to tear me down. <laughs> I was at work Sunday. I was at work on Sunday. And one of my homies sent me in a message. I don't look at it when I'm at work. So I get off work. I'm scrolling on social media. They say this nigga apologize. I'm like, hey, huh? Uh, I watched the video. Oh, man. Sick to my stomach. I couldn't yeah. sleep. I but couldn't sleep. Exactly. I could not sleep. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man, you don't understand. I was distraught. I was like, what is going on? I didn't understand. I've never seen anything like this. And then what are you apologizing for? It was a jab. It wasn't even nothing crazy. Like, I don't get the apology. Why do all of this building up, all of these subs, all these saying I'm the best, and when it's brought to your front door, you responded, and then you just took it back. Talk about I might delete the song off of uh, streaming. Like, what are you talking and about? It, what are you deleting it for? It hasn't been deleted. So that's it hasn't. the other part. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me ask you this, though. Good. Doug, you made the song. Then you got it mixed and mastered, and your boys heard the song, and you probably had other people heard the song. Everybody said the song was fine or whatever. You couldn't sleep at night? What type of... <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and... The thing that's making us worse is Punch tweeting. Punch tweeting. First of all, when the disc drop, Punch tweeted like, oh, this is just friendly competition, whatever. 
Um, I listened to the Rory Maul podcast. Rory is saying that Kendrick and Cole got on a phone and talked or something the day he dropped the album. I think it was the day J. Cole dropped his album. Mm-hmm. And they were fine with it. But I guess that's what changed Cole's spirit because he's like, oh, this is my nigga. But that ain't your nigga like that. Like, did he not just say fuck the big three? Like, right. I'm confused. Yeah, I, I, you didn't have to respond. Wait, 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 this wait, wait, thing. Wait, wait. They had a discussion. They had a discussion. This is the <laughs> thing. So this is my my, my issue because you you it's they had a discussion. They there's stuff going on in the background that that you know of all this. So yeah, they talked, and I don't know what was said, but Who I cares? think I think that's But I think that's a big part of it. I think that's a big part of it. Mm. Cole don't, don't want to dis. You know, like, or to ruin his friendship, or he feels some kind of way about it even being friends. My issue y'all is, y'all not really friends exactly, like that. Obviously, y'all not exactly. friends like that. That's my that. part. Be done. Th- this whole friendship, dog, it's not like Kendrick was on the stage with you. It's not like, uh, you know, Cole, this is what Cole got a problem with. Where I'm gonna I'm coin this term toxic positivity, right? You want to be friends with everybody, dog. It's a problem. <laughs> you can't be friends with everybody. If you saw his show, he brings out every single rapper and talks about how great they are. Oh, man, you the great. Oh, man, you... Uh, hip-hop's in a great place. Y'all y'all got it. Oh, man, you amazing. Yachty. You talking about Yachty like like you're some amazing, you know, yeah. all these people. Sit down oh, with Lil Pump, all of that shit. We don't want to hear that shit. But he was past that. That's wait, my wait, point. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> wait, wait, what? You say that to Yachty? He was saying all that Yachty, to Yachty, man. He's bringing up everybody. Everybody. He's like, <laughs> everybody who came out, he was like, dog, you got to do that one. You got to you, you gotta perform that one for us. Please, dog, please. Like, he begging people, like, to do this stuff. Like, they doing him a favor or something. And, and it's just like, dog, uh, it's just a little too much. Like, you the best. You should be, you know, like, you doing them a favor. You putting them on, on the, in front of your crowd, in front of your fans, you know? You got on their track and made their track hot. Like, I, I just feel like he got a little. He's a he's a little too humble, in a way, uh, in in a sense, and a little too friendly. And so even when when he talks about that, when he did the apology, he's like, you know, who's a Kendrick fan? Me too. I love Kendrick. Like, all he had to say. Oh, I wanted to punch that nigga in his face right then and there. Shut the hell up, dog. My like, fuck all of that. You first of all, you didn't have to respond. If you didn't did. respond, you would not be getting any of this hate. If you would have just did your rollout the way you was going to do it, yada, 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 cool. We would have been mad that we didn't get the battle, but we wouldn't be shitting on you like this. But apologize yeah. to I'd this. Him, but not to this level. Right. right. Well, exactly. The- this nigga disrespected hip-hop. Like, you've been talking all of this hip-hop shit. I love hip-hop. Mm-hmm. I want to be the greatest. Mm-hmm. But you do this? How does this make sense? You're disrespecting hip-hop to me. See, it, I think it's 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 bad. Bad. this is it's where the, the, conversations, the conversations outside, I feel like this is where they come into play. Because I feel like he was willing to engage in a battle, if that's what it was going to be. And I feel like he knows hip-hop. But then I think the conversations outside are what made him feel like, oh, I, I did this to my friend. Like, oh, we actually, you know, we cool. But my thing is, all he had to do was get on stage and say, listen, hey, I'm not about the, I'm not about the beef. Uh, you know, there's no beef between me and Kendrick. But I'm I'm still the best, and anybody want to see me, come see me on a record. I'm not doing no diss tracks. If he said that, then there would be no smoke and nah. a problem. Nah, that's lame too, nigga. Shut nah. up. I don't want to hear that shit. Nah, Just keep I, making I, I music. Respect it, There's degrees to lameness. There's degrees to it. There's much more respect to that. I, I mean, like that. I said, dog. Look, look. We we gotta. I don't want. We gotta get into it. Is this? Well, we gonna get into it at some point. Because is this the worst battle loss in in history? No, no. Is this a loss? This is another thing. This is another thing. This is seppuku. It's not a loss. This ain't no fucking loss. This ain't no, <laughs> no fucking a loss. loss. A loss. No, Kendrick a loss. fans. No, Kendrick fans. Kendrick. No, this ain't a loss. I'm not about to let these Kendrick stands talk about. Oh, Kendrick got a dub over Cole because he didn't. First of all, J Cole's record is good to me. I like it, but. I also Kendrick didn't agree. do anything. But he Kendrick ran. He didn't do anything. He ran. No. No. He ran. no. And so he, he, he bodied himself. He bodied um, himself. That don't give bodied himself. Else. You're right. He bodies himself. He bodied himself. He didn't give somebody else to win. Let, let me ask you this. Let me ask you this. Okay. So is this loss, would you say this loss is worse than like 
the way Royce lost, got got a diss track at him, and then back down. It's the worst thing I've ever seen, personally. I just it's, it's I worse than the Royce lost to me. Like you, you said, you listen to his a... album. I yeah, I can't really listen to this nigga's music right now. Like if it come on my YouTube algorithm, skip. I don't want to hear this nigga. Yeah, I don't want to listen to his next That's album. Right. I'm good yeah. on J Cole personally. Like this nigga's out of my top three. I don't ever want to hear from this nigga again. I'm not going back to his old music. Maybe Friday Night Lights in some time, but right now. For the foreseeable future, I don't want to hear this nigga ever again. Freddie Gibbs, congratulations. You in my top three now, nigga. <laughs> J. Cole, I, whatever old Baldy yo. said number you was, that's what number you is, nigga. You bottom 100, bottom 50, <laughs> whatever old Baldy said, I'm with that. I want all J. Cole slander. This nigga is an idiot. Nah, uh, yeah, look. Yo, dump it down. Doug, I, I feel like it's, it's bad, man. Like, I lost respect for this dude. And I don't want to hear you know none of his music, but I the, I wasn't playing a ton of it. This dude is a big fan of his and don't want to play none of his music right now. So uh, if that's the case, we we're not talking about some moderate uh, loss of uh, of respect here. No, I listen. I, I this is to me this is a huge loss of respect for him because because what he did was he he lost the competitive spirit of hip hop. He's this is against the competitive spirit of hip hop, and this is what people are exactly. Like, but this is where this is where I'm di- different from you though, because like to me, like what he's talking about is you know, like I said, on his positivity stuff. To me, you don't got to be negative to be competitive, right? You, we, people go out and play sports all day, all the time. This is like you block somebody's shot and then you want to apologize for it or you want to take yourself out the game. It don't make no sense. You like you dunk exactly. on somebody and then you say, "Oh man, I'm sorry, I did that." You know what? Let me just sit, go sit on the bench. It don't make no sense. You, Damn, you play, uh, your you favorite rapper. Turned into your favorite basketball player, Ben Simmons. <laughs> no, LeBron, my favorite. But this is like game seven. This nigga been balling, right? Game seven, finals, ha. We coming to see this nigga. And then before the game start, 10 minutes before the game, he like, actually, my stomach hurt. I'm not playing. Like, nigga, what? How are you not playing? It's yeah. like, you built it's- this up for so long. The competitiveness is what you've been building on for two years. You've been telling everybody, I'm killing you on tracks. I'm doing every best feature. Nobody gets it. Like, that's the competitiveness of it, is it not? And then you just, I'm not competitive no more. And what's the fall off supposed to be? Well, well, hold on, hold on. Sam, I forgot I was about to ask you. Do you think that this is the same as, like, um... It, you know, like, because you lost all respect for him, seemed like. You lost, you yes. lost most respect. He for him. just hurt, man. He yes. hurt for right now. In a month, he got go care. He hurt. You know, he ain't gonna care, and he's always gonna care. He always gonna care. Always gonna care. Like, he he care. not gonna feel this way. He never like, 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 No, I'm not. 100% I'm not. Not right I'm not gonna feel it. I have to. But if it came out tomorrow, I would not listen, I promise. Okay, all right. It's like the last 20 years of being a Cowboys fan rolled into one. Exactly. Like when they always look like they really about to win like something that. and then it they does. choke. It, that happened to him, but all at one time. Like, he was only going to get one shot. But this is, but this is the, the same. opposite of lose yourself. He didn't listen to Eminem enough. No, exactly. But this is the thing. Those those, pe- those Cowboys fans come back every year swearing they about to win the Super Bowl. Those the Knicks fans get hyped every year saying they about to they about to do something every year. And so this is my thing. The Knicks fans are New Yorkers. They 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 you know overly confident sometimes. That is a little different, but yeah. It's, it, it's, <laughs> it's my, my point is my point is V Dog. Listen, Doug. I'm telling you, you hurt there right now. There is no comparison because we've never seen those two right like now. this before. <laughs> okay, but I can't be in my feelings because I've been holding this nigga down for 20 years, and then he just came and shot himself. Like, no, what was I caping for you for this whole time? Like, I've been telling niggas, you you next, you you got it. And then you said, nah, I ain't got it, actually. He didn't apologize to y'all either for crushing y'all. y'all, y'all exactly. He didn't apologize to another dude, a dude that dissed him first. Right. Crazy. Exactly. Crazy, oh, man. man. The dude did this. I'm surprised. Surprised. I'm surprised so many of his fans stood there and acted like that shit was cool. You know what? Like, how do you not boo and walk out of that shit? Like, it should have been empty in there. Cheddar bobbed himself, like, like Matt said in the, in the chat. Yes, man. exactly. Yeah. Definitely Cheddar bobbed himself. 
But worse, worse. Listen, <laughs> it's like if, he, if it went through both legs and he had to get them both amputated. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like, I really don't want to hear this nigga no more. Man, you got I don't no understand. Leg. What can he say? And then there's people with the conspiracy theories. Oh, he's doing this, so he could actually fall off, so he could drop the fall. I don't want to hear that that's shit, not, man. That, that's people reaching. Like, people I really, really don't want to hear that <laughs> shit, dog. <laughs> or can he, he oh, fell off on purpose for marketing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, but this is greatest the greatest market employee ever. No, it's the worst market. Because he, here's the thing. All right, so I'm in between y'all. I or I, I'm a, I'm not. I'm less mad about it than y'all are. So. So, I don't understand. So, <laughs> listen. So my thing is, as a as a fan, I was listening to this Mike Delete later, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and then once that came, I haven't listened to it since, or because like That's you right listen it. to the album, it's so. My thing is, I hate the inconsistent messaging. When you are a rapper, and especially J Cole, he's he's his thing is his authenticity. You know, you you uh, love him for you know yeah being authentic. But it don't come off authentic when all your raps now. I mean, just like if I quote some of his lyrics off that album, uh, you know, on uh, Six of Stones, he says, you know, uh, Six of Stones will break your bones, saying my name in a verse will kill. Okay, now who's afraid of saying your name, dog? You just apologized, you know, like, uh, yes. like who's that, oh, who's that verse for PI for if it's not for Kendrick? Like, are you apologizing? He said, even he said in his apology, I'm proud of the album except for this one thing. It ain't like he said, I'm I'm upset about doing gun bars or I'm upset about getting all bracket, you know, competitive. No, he said, I'm I'm, I'm sad that I, I threw a jab at Kendrick and, and distanced discography. Well, what about all these other bars you got? What about that trans bar that, that people See? are talking about? What, what about are, are these? Because all those things look like they directed at Kendrick. If they're not, See? they don't make sense. Yeah. Who, they, who are you talking about? Who are you talking so about? Saying, who are you talking about? You talking let's about get into the speculation then, man. Hold on, let's get into the speculation then, man. So you think Kendrick told him, "Yo, step aside. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna battle Drake." That is and exactly it's, it's what just I mean. Drake. It's not. It's not you. Said, I apologize to you. You know, and then I, I saw, um, and then that way you're me and you are good. I got no issue with you. You got no issue with me. We both diss each other mildly. Let's move on. Peace it up with them. Um, and, but I want Drake. <laughs> Don't but get in the way, say, or I'm going to come at you, too. Whatever, whatever. Something like that. I feel you, but why would he say, Kendrick, I'm sticking out my chin in case you're like, I'm just going to take it on the chin. Like, nigga, like, what? Well, you about after this nigga talked. diss you, you now? You should be talked, right? I thought that so was before. Yeah, that was before. The apology came after they talked. Mm -hmm. So right. why would you say, Kendrick, if you diss me, is okay? Obviously, if y'all talk to him, it shouldn't be no diss, honestly. That's what it seemed like to me. Uh, but I'm saying maybe Kendrick apologized to him and behind the scenes, so he don't look like a clown. And then you know, it's all That's good. Kendrick, you gotta you apologize on, on stage. Why like you gotta did, apologize nigga. on stage? I talked to you on the phone. What's the point of apologizing on stage? Like that's yeah, my Kendrick, you gotta come Jay Cole, here. Well, well, that's what I'm saying. Look, <laughs> he just didn't want him to have respect for him. I mean, I, I, I'm sorry, Damn. I don't know how to describe it, bro. I've never seen this before. It's, is this worse than no. he, is this worse than Drake and Pusha? Of course it is. Hold on. Of hold on. course this, it this is. is. This is where I feel like we're going too far. This is where I feel like we're going too far. All right, hold on. Because let, let me let See, me here make this go. clear. All right, let me make this clear. You saying Put you saying? Cape on. Hold on, hold on. I'm not throwing on the cape. So all right, let me let me read some of the things in chat because people people uh you know say a lot of stuff in the chat. So first off, Love Below said this is like a boxer challenging someone uh and hyping up the fight, and then when the bell rings, he hits the dude and quits after he lands a, a hit because he felt bad. Yeah, that's trash. Imagine Mike Tyson apologizing to his opponent for hitting him. He ain't a beast no more. That's completely true. Exactly. Uh, yeah, I mean, Matt, uh, Matt said, B-Dog, maybe this is the test for his real fans. You can't jump shit. I failed, nigga. <laughs> I failed the test. <laughs> fuck him. Fuck that test. How about that? Travis said that this was public. No, this is, this is way worse than Benzino public. crying. This I, I is way worse than Benzino crying. This is, this is worse. This is worse. Bro, this he, worse. At his Benzino own Christ festival... Was and, and because he was talking about the black plight, not because he was talking about Eminem. I can't. St this is the <laughs> narratives I hate that people paint. Like they don't want to put anything in context. Like <laughs> he cried because he was wasted. He was talking about black people's struggles. <laughs> Man. <laughs> 
Like, all right. The diss was public, so the apology is public. Well, tell Kendrick to apologize publicly. And maybe if Kendrick apologized publicly, then maybe I give Cole some grace. But why you got to do all that stuff you did, though, with the apology? You could have just been like, yo, Doug, I don't want no beef. Let's go ahead and end this now. I'm reaching an olive branch and saying I'm sorry. Bye now. The only and then that's over with. But all that, I couldn't sleep. Yeah. It's on my, on my the soul. The only could have been done down. is, like, if he told us everything that happened, if he said, I called Kendrick, Kendrick is really my man's like that, we not beefing. All right. I can, if that's really your man's like that. Bring him out on stage, Bring him out on stage. Exactly. Obviously. This nigga is not your friend like that, obviously. He cannot be your friend like that. He ain't never did a song with you, one. Two, said fuck the big three, the same thing that you've been saying. You've been saying, oh, we the big three for 10 years now. Like, come on, nigga. That's not not your friend. That's my part. Everybody's industry, every every podcast, everybody's saying. Maybe he promised to be on an album, though. Maybe he's going to be on a fall off. Maybe. And this is my thing. I feel like we'll get a clearer picture later because here's my issue. I think J. Cole got caught in the middle. Clear picture. No, listen. I think J. Cole got caught in the middle of something that wasn't about him. Okay. I think he got caught in the middle, and then he and foolishly, right? Because no, he, oh, stop, stop, stop. I'm not, we not doing this. I'm not this, for this dude, man. I'm not this keeping dude. y'all. You listen, y'all, y'all. Oh, I'm not keeping. Oh, no, you pissing me I'm off, dog. You pissing me off right now. You giving me y'all. Y'all don't want to listen to reasonable arguments. me off right now. Y'all don't want to listen to reasonable arguments. Listen, dog. There ain't no reason to this. There is. Listen, Drake and Kendrick got. I think got real beef. And they playing chess, and, and J. Cole's other, stupid for self years, though. is playing is playing checkers. All right, and he got caught. So in the Cole, Kendrick called yeah. him up and say, "Dog, like you you messing up," and and then J. Cole was like, "Oh snap, okay, I I need to do that." And then his stupid self go fall on the sword. He didn't have to do any of that. I'm I'm not caping for what he did. I'm saying I'm saying that he I don't think he understood what was happening when he did it. Is all I'm saying. And so that's so, why he regrets making you, the record. He thought so that Drake Cole was a friendly competition. He probably got wind okay. of what Drake about to do, what Kendrick about to do, okay. and realized, oh, I, I don't want to get involved in this. He's about to get real. Okay, okay. Okay, I hear you. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. J. Cole and Kendrick have been subliminally dissing each other for years now, right? Right. right. So J. Cole don't know nothing about that, apparently. He I gets on a song with – he's done – He's done two to three songs with Drake in the past five years. So that don't matter either, I guess. What? Like, how do you get caught in something that's obvious? I don't understand that. No, he no, heard no. This. It's obvious. He heard Kendrick coming at Drake. He just didn't expect it to go this far. With this with Drake doesn't go this far. That's what I don't understand. It always gets personal with Drake. Nothing happened yet. Yeah, it's exactly. There's the, the, been no, no <laughs> devastating blows. Why are you apologizing? So, so my thing is, why would you not be involved? If them two are gonna battle, this is the perfect spot. It's like the Royal Rumble. You come in, wow, not one dude out while you're already weak, and now uh, you the champ. Well, yeah. what, why not get involved? What do you mean he he should have he didn't know what was going on? There was this is he's he's in the studio with Drake or somewhere talking to Drake, hanging out with him. They're the Spider Man meme. So you think that they, they know what's going on, and the other dude's supposed to be his friend. But if you're if he's such a friend and you want a song and he don't like it, why he didn't call you? Why he had bars for you on the song on right. somebody else's album? Agree. He's not your buddy. So 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 you telling me like the best case to give this man some bail is that he's an idiot and a simp or a sucker. Not, like, I, I, that's yeah. what I just said. I said he's an idiot. I said this makes him look yeah. like an idiot. It does make him look like a sucker. It makes him look dumb. It makes him look mm. like he don't know what's going on. That's what I said. Otherwise, why do you do it? Why mm-hmm. do you do it? It doesn't. It makes it look like he just he was not. That makes no sense. I mean, gotta just, be because dude, I can't believe I never seen an apology like that. Like Jacob, mom had to call him for him to like apologize. <laughs> like, like you apologize. Who apologizes <laughs> in rap, man? I've never a seen week that later, like Kendrick didn't even respond yet. Not like, a week, not, not even days. a week, bro. Two it's days. Been out three days. It wasn't even three, two. <laughs> oh yeah, it was the same time. Yeah, you're right. It was the yeah. same time. Oh man, same weekend. Yeah. It's the same weekend, man. 
when people are thinking it's about to go be up, and then you putting cold water on something that we want. Hip hop wants this beef. But Who cares? What, I agree, but that's why I feel like okay, this is what I'm saying. Look, I respect. Okay, so the part I respect is someone standing on their morals. All right, do you know if you if yes, you don't I agree. want to get with disses, diss tracks? I get that. So if he felt like. He heard wind of Drake's diss or Kendrick's diss, and he and it was getting too personal. And he was like, "I don't want to be involved in this." That's cool. I I, I respect that. Okay. I don't. I don't respect the J Cole. If you're wondering, yeah. all right. I, I don't know. I just, no, you gotta. You I gotta just, somebody tell me that. Then you exactly. gotta. Well, we'll, okay. So you say. You say wait. Talking. You say wait. That, don't I'm, pass judgment until we know more. Is what well, you're saying. I'm saying that Drake and Kendrick won't say a thing until they do their disses because they're at war and they're not gonna right. let any cards go. And so that's why I'm saying okay. Drake, J. Cole is the one taking the L. Kendrick didn't say, a, not saying a thing. He's not gonna. Because anything he says could give ammo to Drake. It's all silence. It's the calm before the storm. J. Cole was dumb for jumping out there when he didn't have to. And that's what I feel like. Next, no, 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 no. I'm sorry, man. But if you got the next release, then you're getting a diss on my record. Oh, yeah. I'm not going to drop it's a record without putting a diss out. You said you got two in the tug. So if Kendrick want to get crazy, he can get crazy. But, but it ain't got to because neither he do was crazy. That warrants, like I said, man. Exactly. His morals, I, I give you some respect for that. I don't think this is worse than Drake because Drake sent his – Drake punched the dude. Well, this is what happened. J. Cole punched the dude, and he was like, man, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have punched you, dog. Yeah. Drake punched the dude, got punched back, and then ran That's and told him from outside to get him. That's not why. Like, Yo, Uncle, you gotta go that's back outside. That's not why. That's not why. Live for me, Uncle. So that's, 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 what he did. He that's ran. not what happened at all. Exactly what he did. He ran. He should definitely punch first. He ran. And then ran. He should punch first, though. Yeah. So it's not the same. And then Cole punched back and then apologize. Right. I know. No. I'm saying push a punch Drake first. Kendrick yeah. didn't. Kendrick oh, shots. Yeah. He's been punching at Birdman for years. He hasn't been punching at Drake for years. But. Right. Um, my thing is Kendrick shots were mild, so were Cole's. Cole said, "I got two classics. If it get turned up, but I don't want it to go that way." That's all that needed to be said. Everything that needed to be said classics. was in the disc. All we got to do is, like I said, why, why run? But well, it, it still come back to that for me. But you're right. You want to get this man some bail and give B Dog some hope that maybe it's not as bad as we think. Maybe we could turn this album back on. I'm done with this nigga. I'm not listening to yeah, your man. album. You going through the stages oh. of grief, man. This is like an NA meeting, man. Yeah, you know man. what I'm saying? Yeah. I, I mean? respect you. You disrespect the hip hop. How long have you, you been said a you wanted man? to be all of these things yeah. and you're not at? I don't have nothing to. I'm done with this nigga for real. Like, I don't want to hear it. What can he say on a fall off? Seriously. What can he say? Agree. Agree. That's my point. That's my thing. Because to me, like I said, I respect the, the standing on your morals. You don't have to beef. At 40 years old, you don't got to beef. Like Travis said in the, in the chat, you don't got to be beefing at 40 years old. I, I, I'm not, I'm cool with that. He, I'm, I'm cool with positivity. I'm cool with, you know, you know all that. But my thing is, you don't have to, you don't have to look weak. What he, what he did contradicted himself. All those bars on your album are saying you want smoke. You want smoke. And then you back down from the smoke. That's why. That's it's why weak. I'm not cool with positivity. That's why positivity is lame. So this is like get out of here. you getting into the ring. Just like I said, the moment you've all been waiting for, and then the fighter's like, "Actually, let me get the mic real quick." I'm sorry, guys, I can't fight tonight. This all sit right with my spirit. I'm sorry. Like, nigga, so, this I, not that I can't fight tonight. That I'll never fight. I'm basically yeah. This is the opportunity that you that for me to win a belt. I can't win the belt. I don't want the belt. I want to yeah, just exactly like like. like so, I don't understand not, what he thought. Man. Can come from this, because my whole fandom with J Cole is I think this nigga is the best. Agreed. Now I can I never know. think that. I can never think that again. That's my point. No, not no more. Never again. Yeah, yeah. I I agree with you, man. I agree with you, bro. I see why y'all bailed on him. All right, like I said, it wasn't top fifty. I called it early. No, yeah. So I mean, let's talk stats, about that. We all let's talk about. <laughs> No, no, I, I think uh, he talked about him. He talked about himself because he was hating on J. Cole before. Oh. Uh, but uh, l- let's, oh, let's get out of here. <laughs> Up until Friday, everything was perfect. <laughs> and then it all changed on Sunday. All right. I can see the future, man. 
this is the thing, man. I, um, uh, I think this caps J Cole. Like, even if he drops a classic, he can't. He can't get into any greatest of all time discussion. He can He's, move into the thirties. Yeah, the the thirties, the twenties. Yeah, maybe. He's classic. capped to me at the twenty five. Thirties, twenties. He can't get past twenty five to me. Even if he dropped a classic yeah. on the fall off. Yeah. He dropped the absolute plus undeniable. Yeah, yeah, it still it's, couldn't yeah. push her past that. Yeah. He, it's worse he, than when Jason Terry was, was bodying LeBron. Yeah. <laughs> I could never I wouldn't even know if it's a classic because I'm not gonna listen to it. So good luck. Hey man. Hey, How you go from a D one fan to I'm not even gonna listen to his next album. He disrespected he don't give a fuck about his fans, obviously. Don't give a, he don't, he don't care, care about, about rap. Cause, so cause he did it in front of his most ardent fans, like, like exactly the, the Dreamville Fest. These are your people, and you come out in front of them and apologize. Dog, they looking for, they ready to go crazy if you just do like one bar. Um, yep. towards, towards Kendrick. But hey, you apologize. <laughs> this nigga gotta make a. He gotta make an album like Mr. Morales and the Big Steppers. Now he gotta make some yeah. stupid ass album yeah, like that. I've been going through something. Yeah, yeah. I've been going through something. Yeah. You gotta make. A, you gotta make a therapy yeah. album, dog. Yeah, you gotta make a dumbass Kendrick album now. That's what yeah. we gotta do. That's yeah. all I'm like. Yeah, we, we gotta, gotta, gotta go too. Yeah. Exactly. Make uh, some bars about his family, his kids, his wife. That's all he could do now. Yeah, folding clothes. Come on, man. Yeah, I, I listen. So that's why I was gonna ask you how much y'all think the internet talk. Is what what made him because to me I think that's the weakest thing. Like if the internet talk is what made him regret it, I think that's the super lamest thing. I think it was the phone call that made him regret it. But how do y'all think it's the internet talk that got to him? Well, it depends, man. If that's what got to him, then that's that's the worst possible basically thing um, to me. Is if you this dude, you got all these fans, millions of fans, and you worry about what social media say. These are people that made you. The people on social media is your haters. Right. You can mm-hmm. them day one from your fans. If your did you, you know your fans riding with you. So I don't really want to hear that, man. I think that's some if the phone call is the thing that's that's respectable and understandable, even though I wouldn't call like that that album. I'll listen but, to it. But, but if the it's the actual But if it's actually because of what social media said, then you can't I have no respect for this dude. You a grown ass man, you worry about what little kids and shit is saying on Twitter and stuff. That's just I can't do it. Can't do it. So I don't have no respect for that. Yeah, agreed. Agreed. I mean, uh, Darren Harris said he admitted he didn't like what was being said online. I I feel like he 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 said that he didn't like that he dissed the the discography, but I don't know if it was he didn't really say he didn't like what people were saying. I guess I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I guess it, it's murky. My thing is I feel like he needs to clear it up. He needs to do an interview. He needs to do uh, damage control. I don't know what his management is doing. They need to be on full time damage control. Cause I'm with y'all. This kills hype for the oh. fall off. The hype was building for oh, so yeah. long, and then this kills him. He, he got to clean this up, yeah. or like I don't. I mean, I don't know. Yeah, I think a lot of people feel the way B Dog feels, and uh, if he don't clean up, like do big time clean up. I don't think enough people feel how I feel, cause they should have booed that nigga off stage. They shouldn't even, like we shouldn't have been able to hear anything he said because the booze were so loud. Agreed. Agreed. I went to Dreamville Fest. I know what it looked like. It's people everywhere. Crazy. They all should have booed that nigga. And, Throw and a tomato at that nigga. It was bigger than ever. What if he gets more listen? They ain't got enough people. I see a lot of people giving this nigga bail, but it's really disrespectful what he did. I feel disrespected disrespected. I feel like he disrespected hip hop. It's just bad for me. Like I can't I'm not even I can't a fan. with you no more after that. Yeah, like I said, I'm not even a fan and this dude I feel disrespected. Like and, and you know, like I feel like yo, bro, I was waiting for this 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 face off. This supposed to be the time. The apology just like, come on man, like what are we doing? So that that I'm not I'm not forgiving that right away. Like I said, if they got some kind of real history going on, some real information that we don't know yet, then we're gonna find out later. Cool. I'm with that. That makes sense, at least. Um, so I can I can be a peaceful man like you, uh, dumb it down. But I, I really want to ride with what B Dog saying and just tell us and ignore this dude forever. The fuck it. Put the phone call on the fall off, and then I'll forgive you, nigga. How about that? Otherwise, I don't hear. I don't want to see no interviews either. This nigga go, cop, please, uh, guys, it was like that. What, I don't want to hear do? that shit either. He got to do something. Come on, dog. He got to do something. 
there's so many questions. If I was interviewing this dude, I'm asking, who are all these other bars for? What are you, are you, like, you know, did you You'd never go that. Of course, I know. Of course he's not. But I'm these saying. These media people are trash. Oh, yeah. The media people are so trash. They, they always got prepared, Jacob, like, prepared pie, questions man. for you. Soft from a hurt fan, I need to talk to you, man. You need to talk to your fans. I'm a hurt fan, J. Cole. Come on the pod, man. <laughs> Yeah, I, right. I think. You know, I, haven't, yeah. I haven't heard this perspective much either, B Dog. Now, admittedly, I've been running away from some of this stuff. I didn't really want to see all these reaction videos because I think a lot of people that's been popping up in my YouTube thing is corny. Um, so the shit just pops up, and I'm just like, I don't want to see this. This looks stupid, and this shit looks stupid, and I'll watch a couple seconds and be like, Nah, I don't want to hear this. Um, so I, I was, I haven't heard a lot of people that was mad at him. I heard people that's not his fans mad at him, but I haven't heard his fans yeah. mad. At him. Is that? Is that no, what's really going on with y'all? I, I haven't been on the J. Cole Reddits. You be on the J. Cole like Reddits, right? I feel like it's the people who the people who were dissing his uh his his diss track were cool with his apology. You know, like cause they did they, they they thought he was lying on the diss track and they hated that oh the people who are like to be butterflies classic, they were like, Oh, good thing he apologized because he was lying. He was obviously lying. And then the people who were like, not to be, but like, he's telling the truth, they're mad that he apologized. You, you see what I'm they, saying? They got a dude I have respect for. This dude tried, he was, uh, he was like, Kendrick clearly, damn, is a classic. And I was like, damn. I was like, what? Mm-hmm. So <laughs> I couldn't believe it. Oh, he was like, how could he say that about damn? I was like, wait, are we in the same world? Um, so apparently they got people that's out here saying that type of stuff. Yeah, uh, this side, is, man. This man. How like I'm a fan of this dude, and he single handedly set us back to the beginning. Like, yeah. nigga, this is what I've been fighting for this whole time. Nah, yeah, this, man. That's the this, part yeah. I'm mad about. The yeah, most. you feel like the dude that was. You feel like the dude that was holding the uh, the, the the chick down that was in jail, and then you she got out and cheated on you, Doug. Like, <laughs> basically, <laughs> it's bad, bro. I really, I yeah, I can't fuck with him for real after that. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Y'all say it's a uh, a state of moment. How I feel, but. It's really not because how can I respect you after you say all of these things? You the best. You get on all these features and killing them. How can I respect your like? I can't believe your music after. It's I can't respect believable. it. It's not believable. Yeah, you 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 discredit yourself. He discredited himself. So let, let's let's get to it. Come on, let's because let's talk about uh, B Dog signing like Benzino. Uh, or set his back is hilarious. All right, so here's my thing. How is this worse? <laughs> I'm about to cry like Benzino. The, Do I didn't hate this nigga so much. I would cry. He fighting for the black man now. Yeah. Uh, look, look, man. How is this worse His than? His bars are still fire. How is oh, this God, worse than it, uh, it being revealed that uh, Drake has Ghost Riders? How is this worse than uh, than someone getting dissed and then apologizing after the diss, like we've seen other rappers do? How is this worse than? Why is it worse than those things for you, you guys? Worse like, than which one? Like, all right, so let's do it one at a time. Why is it I worse? I think what Drake did to Pusha is worse when he ran. Okay. After he wrote the Instagram post explaining the blackface, then he then he ran and asked somebody else to come outside and explain what happened for him. Or that he had this secret diss. Like, people had that secret girlfriend when you're in middle school. Mm-hmm. It's like, like, what are we talking about? The secret diss that's so bad, you don't want to I hurt this man if I bring it out. Yeah. So that was always odd to me. Um... No, I don't think I it's, it's, it's it's not as bad. As, I mean, it's um, it's the when Jay Z did the apology wasn't as bad as this. Okay. So he was in a position of of perceived strength by, for many when he did that. Mm, okay. So All right. the other thing is, I, the Drake thing. I can understand Drake saying the same way that is being reported now that it's going to get nuclear between him and Kendrick. It's going to get extra personal and him not wanting to do that with Pusha because Pusha has been an idol of his. I can understand that. Mm. That makes sense to me. I thought, no, this, to me, I thought the whole this, thing was that this no, makes no, sense, no, sense, no, sense to me. To both your favorites, bro. They get the yeah. Spider Man meme. They both bitches, okay? And the dude, <laughs> the Spider Man meme, Drake Ray. Oh, okay? One. And that's why they they uh, acted like this. Don't don't do that, man. Drake ran, dog. Don't 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 try to rewrite history. Talk about this because no, Pusha was his idol. That's not what he said. He was sitting next to LeBron. Like I texted you, and I was like, "Man, did I let you down?" And LeBron looked at him like he was his daddy and was like, "You could never let me down." No, nah, he did definitely say that. 
No, definitely did say Pusha was his idol. There was the videos on the internet of him having a Pusha T mic so, being signed by Pusha T and all of that. So, so, so I understand like that. Yeah. And even at the time, his dubby disc was mostly towards Kanye. Like, he really never had no beef for Pusha. He, but, yeah, the, the most, uh, he, his smoke was mostly for Kanye, but, but I thought... The reason why he didn't go was because Jay Prince told him not to. But we, I don't want to get caught on that. We, you say it's you say it's, it's worse. Uh, B dog, you don't think it's as bad? Okay, so uh, no, nah, this is about, the worst to me. <laughs> okay, so what about somebody who got destroyed in a in a battle? Like, uh, I mean, I'm trying to who who got like just owned in a battle? I mean, like I said, I, I use the example of the most recent one. Boys. one. When he battled Nelly. <laughs> okay. <laughs> You and you think this is you think this is worse than that? Yeah, I think this is worse. Okay, so you are saying because you can lose a battle? This is losing. This is some other shit. I, I don't know what you call this. This is we talked about it. Is a is an honorable one. suicide? I guess like yeah. I don't this honorable suicide. Fuck that. Yeah, this is it don't seem nigga. honorable. So it's a suicide, but it ain't a good one. And. It, Clearly, like I said, if, if it hurt your core fans that much, then it's got to be, to me, it's terrible. Yeah. Like, what else can you do? This, I can't think of, like, this is just, like, your team choking uh, in the worst possible. It's like, I, you know what this is? This is how the Bills fans must be, must have felt all the times when they kept going to the chip and losing. Four in a row and losing? Yeah. Nah, but yeah, I, you know, on field goals and stuff. Yeah. Like, just like on, you know, it's like, wow, dog. Like, because I don't know how it could get much worse. They was They was feeling like it's about to happen. My man's about to really come out. They gonna go yes. back and forth. My man's gonna come out on top because he's rapping the best right now. Yeah, that's what they thought was gonna happen. Yeah, I, I, uh, I gotta yeah. give Imperial stats his, his props, man. He clowning cold in the chat. He says, "Hey, yo, uh, he can only talk. He can only rap about the Earth, Moon, and stars now. He can only rap about vegan sandwiches." Uh, I mean, yeah, I, I came. I don't. I don't. There's none, none of the rest. None of the other bars are believable from him. Uh, so M and Master E's got a, a joint EP coming out, man, called Plant Base. Plant Base. Yes. <laughs> that, that's what they, they gonna get in. They gonna get it in. This J Cole, Master E's, and Marco Polo. Trav, this is kind of what Trav is like. What Trav said, KD going to go to state. It's, this it's is kind of like it's that, that to me. Like, it's that bad. It's nigga, I can't respect you. Like nah, after that, it's just that bad. It's I can't respect. Bad. Yeah, I it's can't not, respect KD not. no more. Just hey, like the the chips, though. see, that's the thing is he just Cole will never had any shit don't matter to me. Nah, they matter somewhat because he balled in them chips. Yeah, but okay. you know, thing. it's he easy to a, ball when you got Steph Curry on your team. You got a top five player on your team. True. But when you mm-hmm. watch the game, top three. <laughs> there was all kinds of stars out there. And the best dude on the court was him during those finals, those times. Now, I agree that's with not you. True it was terrible. It was true. He was the best. Man. He was this not average game. like fifty. Nine and nine, like Listen, he was okay. He still was passing the ball to people and stuff, but he was. <sighs> it seemed like, and like I said, maybe I don't remember it that great because it was a couple years ago. He played great in those finals, wasn't he? The MVP he in both the finals. Yes, he was. That's not. Course. It's course. easy to now, be great so, when so Steph how, Curry is next to you. <laughs> that might be fine, but it's easy oh to be great God. when it's teed up for you to battle somebody. It is. Yes, that's why they the same thing. This hold on, hold on. It's not the same thing because this is not. This was not teed up for him to battle anybody. I, what I'm saying is, he, it was teed up. He threw, of course, it was teed up for them to battle, but it wasn't teed up for him to win. Okay, right. he he right. is saying he is not willing to go where those other people are about to go. And so you really think he's about to go super personal? I don't you think it's about to be a super personal battle. Who knows? I think so. I that's think what so. they. I mean, I think if so. it's a nuclear bomb, it got to be something crazy. But that's my thing, honestly. That if Cole gave Drake information like something crazy, and then he apologizes, can we let's get into like, some speculation, man? Let's get into some more speculation. I do not believe that Drake is about to, about to come out. Drake is not about to come out with some like the equivalent of Adidon for Kendrick. It's about to be bars and like sing songy shit that's gonna make it a hit. Mm, and it's I don't think so, all. Bro. That's all. That's what Drake does. Are you serious? Do you really think Drake about to come out? You think Drake about to come out with a diss song that's all about Kendrick's personal life? No, no, it's gotta be everybody. Gonna... No, he gotta come out with the. It said it's nuclear. 
He got to. It's got to okay, be. So it's be... Of, he got to go at Ross. He got to go at Future. He got to go at Metro. He got to go at Kendrick. He got to go at all. Of them. Okay. Okay. And so he got like all. Okay. Hit him up. I think listen, dog, I'm not I'm just go saying he he that's what he has to do. Every it's him versus everybody now. Because J. Cole bought out. Is it one is one V but he's a, a crowd. He he don't have to do that much to <laughs> to win in the public's eyes, man. He can no, make a I sing songy no. song that hits. Like uh, nah. he knows that's not true after the push of beef. Exactly, he knows that's not true because Duffy was wrong. good. Push proved that wrong. Duffy was good, and push proved proved that wrong. Exactly, and that was that was. Uh, don't listen to Duffy no more. Well, I don't listen to either this anymore. The I listen to it for Red on Drake because he's Drake. That won't work the same on Kendrick. Uh, look, cool man. Unless you're gonna tell me that Kendrick is secretly, I don't know, eating pounds of pork and. He is in a harem with like fifty white women or something. I don't know what you're gonna say that's gonna be like so devastating. What is he doing? But that's what, what we say about every diss. When can they really? But it always gets to some personal shit. If it's personal, that's not what it's we say. I was, first of all, I wasn't speculating about every other diss. Most of the other ones were surprises to me, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, especially when I was a kid. Like uh, the Nas one is the only one I ever anticipated because we knew they was going back and forth. I mean, I just don't know, and I was, and the stuff he said on there was different to me. I didn't notice some of the stuff. So, you know, it's whatever, man. I, I just, I just think that this is a uh, y'all giving it like some kind of leeway. I guess I don't really see it. I don't know. Listen, I don't, I don't really think listen. Drake is. Good. I, I think I just don't know what kind of personal stuff he can have on all of them. I'm sure he got some personal stuff on Future, maybe. Ross, too, you think? Okay. Metro, he got personal info on all of them. is about to be devastating. All right, we're going to find out tomorrow, tonight, in, a, in an hour. In an hour. We're going to stay on the whole time. If it come out, we're going to hit it. Yeah. Uh, nephew, uh, hustle on the track. That's what I said. He should have got on stage and said, look, I'm not with with uh, diss tracks, but if you want to see me, come see me on a, on a, uh, on a beat. Like, come, you know, come see me on the track. Uh, that's, I would have respected that. That would have been, you know, it wouldn't have been this. You know, Baldy might not have respected it, but you could still say all that I'm the GOAT stuff if you are going to compete. If you're not oh, yeah. going to compete, yeah, I agree with you can't say all that GOAT stuff. Then that's the Competition. Issue. Right. He, he, to me, he disrespected the spirit of competition. That's my issue. It, you know, so it's not that he, my issue isn't that he wants to be positive or that he doesn't make a diss track. Those aren't my issues. My issue isn't even an apology. My issue is that he disrespected the spirit of competition, right? I, I boo positivity too, though, man. I boo positivity as well. <laughs> I'm not trying to hear all that. I don't like no positive shit either. Yeah. All right. So, uh, all right. So, I mean, listen, Features album coming out this this week. You know, it's still going to be disses. Uh, and I think, I mean, uh, but Joe Budden was saying Drake coming, you know, coming soon after. Coming soon after. It's nuclear. They said nuclear. To me, that's a that's not a good idea either, man. To gas it up, that means it's got to be. It really better be good because you want it to be low expectations and exceed expectations. You don't want it to, you know. what I'm saying you want to do that. That way you blow people away. I don't. So, if you got a fire beat like that, Metro one, it don't really matter because that beat can carry a lot by itself, honestly. And this is okay. this is the thing that's gonna hype it up. <laughs> no, a diss track is about the words more than the, more than the beat. I mean, it, it, we don't. Yeah, the yeah, ether beat. Yeah, all right. Uh, my thing that's is, a legendary beat that still gets played over everything to this day. What? The ether uh, beat. Hmm? Cool. That beat's not special. Beat is the weakest part yeah, of the song. That's not, yeah, that's what I'm talking <laughs> and about. And it still gets paid to this day. They put that shit over every diss, every time somebody <laughs> says anything spicy. Because of the words, because not because iconic. of the beat. Yeah, yeah it's not exactly. You, you, you the beat is I, it's iconic. It's not the point. It, if okay, you got it the be right words, you'll, you'll make, your, you'll make you the beat just iconic. Said, <laughs> you just said when we were talking about the cold thing that like that was still crazy. That because, beat is crazy. Because of the beat. Exactly. The because words were not that crazy. Exactly. Kendrick didn't say anything super crazy. Agreed. Exactly. We That's what I'm saying. Thing. We say the same thing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm confused. Right, y'all fight about it some more, man. No. Argue about it some more. <laughs> no, 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 no. We agree. No, we say the same thing. My point is that that like that. If it's a dope beat, does not make you win the battle, though. That don't make you win the battle. 
Yo, you can win the battle is... different ways, man. You could win the battle if the song is everybody singing the shit. That's true. Yeah, like that back to back shit from Drake was right. Played on yeah, radio that's what I'm, that's at a concert. That's the club. clear to me. That's what I'm expecting Drake to do now. I, I don't yeah. think you win a ton of points in a in a in a certain types of battles with by lyrical miracle and the dudes. Like I don't think that's gonna be what he got. You know, I think there'll be some bars in there, but it ain't gonna be that. Yeah. No, no, man. We'll see. If we'll they both drop something crazy, do y'all think it stops here or is it like is it gonna keep going? Is this a we're gonna keep going? Yeah, I don't I don't How know. keep going. Yeah. I don't know. This nigga Kendrick disappeared for five years, so I could easily see him release an album, man. He's gonna have another you think like, so? of, like Hillbillies, the album. Him and Keen doing stupid <laughs> shit. They're gonna be a, gonna be a diss on there though. That's what y'all say. Y'all saying like there's not it might be hard for me to listen uh, to Kendrick about man. I feel like yeah, I feel like it, it's easy to got lots of disses for the this dude. I feel like Drake will have a no, lot. He of don't. No, they don't. No, they don't. You can't say nothing about Kendrick, man. Every album he ever released has been amazing, <laughs> dog. I personally <laughs> wrote the committee to give him a Pulitzer when Damn came out because that's a classic. I, I listen to T Pab every day, all the time on repeat because it's the greatest album that's ever been produced. So I don't know what you're talking about, man. You can't talk about, uh, you know, Mr. Morale and the and the Big Steppers. Greatest album. One of the best. I, I go, you know, my top five is like Illmatic, Mr. Morale and the Big Steppers right there. You know what I'm saying? It's right there. Listen. Imperial Steps, I, I agree with, I mean, that's what I think. Drake is going to drop a back-to-back. I don't think it's going to, I mean, I could see like a, uh, 12 a.m. in Compton, too. I could see that, too. But that's his only two options. It either has to be something like that or a back-to-back. And it can't uh, – I mean, and that's fair. And that's his lane. That's what he should try to do, I think. I don't think he should try to just get a downbeat like eat there and just try to do something like that. It has to be I don't think he's a gonna back-to-back. Do it a, 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 he'll have a better beat than that. Yeah, it'll be – Definitely but, have a better beat yeah. than Ethan. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. We, all right, so uh, listen. People already in the chat. They starting to talk about it, Doug. So we got we got to. Y'all got anything else to say about this Kendrick thing? Uh, I mean, I, I do want to say uh, Kendrick. Go ahead. That's what I just say. Y'all know. I, I mean, mean, I'm more mad at I'm more mad at Cole for giving Kendrick stands something else to talk about. Exactly. He's exactly. just taking this like a W. Like, nigga, you know how long I've been fighting Kendrick Stans to talk about you, and now you really gave him the feel. Like, that's that's what hurt the most. You got these niggas talking again. You a fan, man. It hurts. I'm, I'm sorry, bro. Like I said, they got a J. Cole Anonymous for y'all now. Y'all click up. Y'all talk about y'all feelings together. Yeah, that's that's my thing. I hate Listen, I'm, I'm talking to my students, you know, and uh, and so I'm talking to my students, man, and, and saying – that yeah, that tip of butterfly is whack, right? And then of course now now they like if you say something against Kendrick, like now it's like oh you defending J Cole. I've been hating on Kendrick for years, dog. <laughs> Our number one video on the channel is me hating on Kendrick. I've been a Kendrick yeah, hater, man. and then now now yeah. what? I, I'm 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 not riding for J Cole. T Pab sucks, and I hate that J Cole was the bad messenger for the right message. Cause that nah, look, man. I hate when annoying. people step on when, when people mistake the hate. The hate yeah. is real. The hate been there. Mm-hmm. Don't mistake mm-hmm. my hate for like of someone else. No, I hate both them niggas. You know what I mean? Like yeah. I hate, I hate, I hate all both of them niggas. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. That's what I'm saying. In a group chat, they like, oh, so Kendrick. No, I still hate this nigga, and I hate Cole now. Yeah. Now I hate them equally. They are both add them to the list. I don't want to listen to either one of them again. Yeah, right. add it to the list, man. Just another person on the hater list. Exactly. Uh, yeah, T Pab got some great records. I, I would argue with people, man, about this, man. That I, that that album is got like four good records. There's a lot of mid, a lot of trash, actually. Not even mid. Yeah, a lot of times, man. We got some. We got some other great heat tonight, man. Yeah. Wait, hold on, real quick. Last question. I see people in the chat saying, "Are they? Do y'all think Drake? That was a shot at J Cole for apologizing or what?" Drake, oh, I, I, he, I, he was I, just standing with me last yeah. week, nigga. We were just doing a tour together. Oh, and yeah, now you Drake, should, Drake should hate, but he he might not. Cole might call him and be like, "Hey, man, I'm out of it, dude. I'm Switzerland, bro." 
Well, I mean, that, that was Maul was talking about on, on his podcast. Maul was saying that, you know, he asked Drake if he was going to show up at the Dreamville concert. And Drake was like, I don't know if I should go because, like, J. Cole would have to change his lyrics, you know, to instead of saying, mm-hmm. you know, uh, you know, we the big three, he got to say something, you know, like against Kendrick now. He can't, he can't be bigging him up, right? So, mm-hmm. and J. Cole not with it. That's what I'm saying. I feel like the conversations behind the scenes have a lot to do with this, man. <laughs> Because uh, otherwise Drake would have been at that concert. Uh-huh. He called everybody, all his friends, uh-huh. everybody, everyone who he did a, 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 a song with, J- were on J Cole's stage, except for Amen. Drake and Kendrick. Because that's what I'm saying. There's a lot, a lot of, a lot J- of that. Well, so, he could have had a moment, B Doug. He could have had it, man. It was definitely y'all, bro. I'm sorry for y'all, J Cole's yeah. fans, man. Yeah, yeah, you know, like one of my favorites, you know, they got him bending over on the internet. His, his girl, his baby mama posted him uh, with his butthole. And, his and that's still not as bad. And that's still not as bad as this. I'm more embarrassed to play J. Cole music right now, man. I can't even, I won't even put my windows down when I listen to uh, Born Center. I'm going I'm to hide it. You know, yeah. turn the radio low. Nigga, I ain't listen to none of that old shit. I might spend this, uh, might delete later because I really might delete that later. So I might spend it a couple more times, but we'll see. Nah, hey, nah, Travis, all my likes off if that nigga phone, says man. that, if he did say that spicy shit, that'd be fire, Travis. I like that. Fine, I'll do it myself. Yeah, I, I like know, that. Yeah. <laughs> that would be that'd good. be hard. Right. That's gotta be. <laughs> all right, let's, uh, let's move on, man, because uh, people talking about, you know, uh, you know, some people in the in the chat, that, you know, they see the title. We got to talk about Tupac. Tupac, man, uh, you know, uh, if y'all ain't check it, we do it. We do a draft usually every episode. And the last episode, B Dog, you know, it came in here talking nonsense, saying uh, Tupac overrated. So we uh, we got to talk about it, man. I, I told him, I challenged him to listen to Machiavelli. It's my favorite Tupac album, personally. I know a lot of people are going to say all eyes on me and stuff, but it's my favorite one. So let's talk about um, this album, man. And let's talk about Tupac's place. Can you tell me why he released it as Machiavelli? Okay, so uh, this album came out after he died, but uh, he, he uh, you know, when he recorded it, in seven days it was recorded, uh, you know, th- th- this was the whole theme. Sound he like do it. it under, under, okay, all right. We, 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 I see where we're going with today. Uh, <laughs> we, we about to fight. That? You thought we were, we thought we were, I, I was so. upset about this J. Cole take. I'm about to, we about to fight right now. I didn't now. even know that. That makes sense though. If you would have told me that before I listened, I would have judged it with different ears. The, uh, so yeah, I mean, the, this is the theme, all right? He, uh, what, he wanted to do it under a different name. So what, what, what's, uh, what up, what up, Leroy? Yeah, we, we, we just got done talking about, uh, man, uh, all that J. Cole stuff, dog. We about to talk about this, uh, Tupac now though. So, uh, let's let's get to it. Y'all want to go track by track, or or y'all just want to talk about our overall thoughts? We go track by track. Is how many songs is on there? Just 12, ten, 12, right? Twelve, twelve. All right. So, uh, yeah, twelve songs. Baldy, what's your overall thoughts on this? On Tupac. On 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 the this album good. or in general, yeah. But he's crazy overall, and uh, this album. I mean, look, man, you got to remember when this album came out, bruh. I was like 11 or 12, and this album has like legendary status just because of the way it came out, the the, the the timing of it, all those conspiracy theories. There are so many, man. I felt like everywhere you went, people would be like, oh, Tupac is here, Tupac is there, he's not really dead. He just released the album, he's coming back, Machiavelli faked his death, mm. it's all a plot. Uh, everybody, and then, you know, and the other thing was like, he beat the shots before, I'm like, he got shot before a bunch of times didn't die right so when he got shot this time i was like well he'll be fine it's tupac and again as a child i felt like everywhere we talked every time we talked about anything it was like tupac's around he alive and so um this album had like a huge impact man this got some of the best tupac songs ever on it agree agree i i love now see uh maria abara uh already in the chat saying uh this album's got the worst beats and I gotta agree, this album's production is thank you is uh, limited, really? it's sparse. So yeah. if you, but if you know the story, Dr. Dre had left. They 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 this he's dissing Dr. Dre on this album, but um, mm. so they had split. So Dr. Dre wasn't around, not doing the production, and it was like 
these you know no name producers that were in in there uh, that Tupac just grabbed and was like, "Yo, put this on. I want I want this. I want this." And he kind of uh, you know made the album like I said quick like that. But uh, right. So they was the lame room or whatever. What was it said? It was like the lame studio yeah, it was or something like, the like that. R and B room. Yeah, yeah, the, yeah, the yeah. Studio, yeah. So it was like some R and B producers that he got on his yeah um, yeah so yeah. Hey, it makes sense. Chat is lining up. Uh, this is a lot of hate. Easily, you just setting up like it's easy to hate on this now. I didn't even notice before I heard this trash ass album. <laughs> all that being said, I, I, all that being said, I, this is my favorite album because Pac's energy on this album is undeniable. He makes the album, oh, okay. he makes every track dope, just with his voice, just with his his uh, his hooks, his singing, his bars. All of it. he brings all the energy. So even when the the beats are minimal, it, the song is dope because he's got so much energy. So I, I uh, what songs are you hating on, man? Yeah. It's like we go go through this track by track. You got You got to be crazy. You hating on bomb first? No fire. Fire. Beat, okay. Terrible, fire. but energy great. And this is Hail Mary. Hail Mary. Hail Mary fucking has one of the best. Lines to open us like it's just fire. Okay, the killer, but don't push me. I mean, come on, dog. Come yeah, on. that's that's a top five rap bar to me. <laughs> so, so I'm sorry. I'm, I'm trying to figure out what songs you gonna hate on. You hating on Toss It Up? Sucks. Terrible. Nah, that's a good song. That's a good song. That's a good song. <laughs> this beat is awful. Like, really, maybe one of the worst I've heard. <laughs> to live I'm... and die in LA. That's a that's a great song. Hold on, the storytelling on that is great. Oh come good on, you ain't that now. Good song, dude. Good, whatever is classic, whatever. Good song, I guess. Good song. <laughs> All right, okay. <laughs> go ahead, now. Now go. Ahead. You can hate on the next two if you want. Black. Oh no, blasphemy. no, blasphemy. No, I, I like blasphemy. I, I mean, the the you know, uh, I like the song. Come on, bro. I could have made this beat right now, and I don't even have no Pro Tools, no beat maker, no nothing. I could have made this. Terrible. Yeah, but Pac's bars on, on this one are dope. He got some dope bars on this one. I can't tell. The beat is terrible. Come on, man. Yeah, he um, definitely has some dope bars on that one. Let me, let, me, let me pull up the lyrics here. Yeah, man, I can't believe this. This level of hate is, un, is, is strong, man. You are strong in the dark side. Yeah. Life? Of an outlaw sounds good to you? Tell me the nah, truth. If, nah. if it do, okay, I'm about to say this song is See, terrible. But, I mean, but okay, but hold on. Going back to the last track, I mean, like a stuff like no, the, this ain't the one that I hate. The the, the stuff like um, you know, uh, should we cry when the Pope die? My request, we sh uh, we should cry if they cry when we bury Malcolm X. Like all, all these type of stuff. Like I love See. the the verses on on uh, <laughs> on on this song right here. Uh, the importance. It seems like you got. Like lyrics at number, number one, one, and yes. you got beat like at number four because they one and two. The beat is a zero. They one and two. They one and two. <laughs> no, because the beat is <laughs> terrible. It's but, awful. No, I don't think the beat's that bad, but it's, it's not, not great. You're right. It's just that. minimal. Mm -hmm. It's just. I minimal. had it on today, um, and I was like, "Wow, I forgot about some of these songs that I don't." You know, I haven't sat down listened to this album, album straight through in a long time, man. So I was, I was for surprised. Well, I haven't heard all some of these songs in years, but I knew all of every word. I was, you know, I was like, dang, I haven't listened to this forever. Um, but there's there's one song on here I don't like, and you know which one that is. Go go ahead. Just yeah. like Daddy. Oh yeah, oh, that's what I said. <laughs> that one's terrible. Oh yeah, that's a skip. That's an absolute. Uh, you know, that's one of the worst songs I think I've ever heard. Been man. But you know what? That's me with that. I hate that daddy crap. That's disgusting mm -hmm. to me. So I think that shit is like, ah, right, get that shit out of here. Should have been cut. Should have been cut. One hundred percent. That's the the black eye of the album. That's the 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 yeah uh, for easily the worst song. But every other song, crazy white man's world, me and my girlfriend, hold your head against all odds. All I, I love all those songs. Mm -hmm. Um, I like me and my girlfriend. I do like that one. Great song. You don't like white man's world. See, you just not. You not. No. You don't like anything. You don't like anything uh, with a uh, message. That's your problem. You don't want to be educated. Can you give me a beat that I can kind of <laughs> like? Like, ah, oh, that's a good like beat. A message, man. The message has got to be like money cash hoes. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. <laughs> it's just... 
Yeah. Hold your head is mid. Against all odds, fire. I'll give you that. Against all odds, is fire. Okay. Happy okay. I listen okay. to that. So you like the toxic ones where he dissing people? Those are fire. You don't like what he's talking about. Yeah. Something, something positive. You don't like what he's talking about. <laughs> about the energy does carry yeah, is, better in the is. world. <laughs> no, the energy does carry all against all odds. Yeah. It's the dissing energy, maybe. But the other yeah, energy. He don't listen to these songs, man. It's 12 songs on here. I did like six of them. What you mean? I feel like you liked about seven, eight songs on there. He said, me and my girlfriend gets all odds. You you don't like crazy? No. I thought that'd be one you like. I mean, that's one, one, two, okay, but, three, four, five five songs. Up, five songs. Yes, yeah, yeah, it's a classic song. I don't like it as much as other people, but it is not a terrible song. Okay. All right. So, I mean, so then you, you like the first five songs. Nah, no, like, I like five songs total. He didn't like toss it no, up. Like, he didn't like toss it oh, up. Oh, you didn't like toss it up? Oh. Yeah, I know. I know. Then it's I don't like blasphemy. Yeah, it's, it's surprising. I know. It's it's disappointing. It's very disappointing. I don't know who, yeah, I don't know how, how like, you, what's wrong with your mind? I don't know what, what your problem is, but I like every song except just like that. This is why y'all generation soft, man. I ain't gonna lie to you right here, man. This is it right here. <laughs> this is the example. Tupac hate terrible, people bro. in these days. That's a thing, though. We haven't seen much it. Tupac hate, which makes me upset because we should really hate on this nigga. The same way they went back and found those clips of Jordan not being able to dribble with his left hand, they should go back to this album and be like, Tupac. Oh, you done great. with the 90s Tupac edition? That's what you, you running? Yeah. <laughs> He is way better to me, honestly. Like way better. Like in a different class, better to me, honestly. This, this is why I'm not rolling. This is not, I'm not rolling at all. This is Pac's fifth album. This was recorded in in seven days, oh, and it's fire. Biggie has two albums. All right, and I, listen, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna. I'm, I'm not even trying to match your your hate for hate because Biggie's still great, but just not as great as Tupac in my book. All right. Uh, I like him for different, ex- different times. Just stop giving this nigga stuff. Who cares if it's his fifth album? It, just because he died at 26, I don't care. That's not a stat to me. That doesn't make you better because you made five albums in three years. That doesn't make you better. I'm sorry. That's not a stat. Listen, That's like not something that should be said. said. Biggie didn't rap about nothing. No content. No content. Pac got content. What do you mean he told stories? He had storytelling and he had emotional stuff on that first album, especially. Yeah, well, I mean, like, Suicidal Thoughts is emotional, but it's not, like, about the world. It's not, you can't rap around the world? You're right, it's not politically it's not, inclined, yeah, but it means... Okay, but everybody's not going to do that. Well, but, okay, but to me, that is part of what boosts pop. When we talk about some of his biggest songs, Brenda's Got a Baby and stuff like that, with changes and stuff, these are some of his biggest. Like it's not like, oh, this is a B side cut where he said something talking about something political. It's about well, I hear what you're saying. I agree. That are classic that have a positive impact. Okay, you can't say that about many rappers. You can't say that about many rappers. Okay, right. To make conscious right. music hit music, that's Pac yeah. is almost like a one on one on that. Yeah, B Doug, you just wasn't around either, man. Like you don't know this dude shot cops. And like, no, that's hard. That's hard. Like, no, that's hard. No, that's hard. That is hard. Studio, came <laughs> back. Hard. He was good. I mean, like, that's, you don't understand. Like, the love for this dude was already like off the charts. So, like, that's attached to this album for me. I can't really sit up here and even fairly like critique this stuff. Even if I don't even I turn, these, I don't turn on some of these songs that much. Like, I don't listen to blasphemy that much. But I'm gonna start playing some of these songs more. Um, the mystique and the lore behind. People is what upsets me a lot. I hate when people do that. They nah, give a lot of nigga credit. Lore is off the charts, though. It's, his mystique and lore is off the charts. Mythical. Okay. Like, like it, this could be Hercules or some shit. Like, this never happened. The right. dude, the shit this dude was doing was unparalleled, um, unprecedented. Okay. Okay, but would he have shot the cops if you knew they were cops? Like, like we it don't can't... matter. It don't matter. How many is out here shooting cops and walking the streets? Oh my gosh! What? what? <laughs> he ain't the only one. That's he what I'm saying. Yeah, he, he is. Yeah, he's the only one. I just 
I mean, I hate it, bro. So fast. Hey, Brett. The same thing. Him? Jay-Z. I can't stand no, the Lord. Jay-Z Lord is nothing like Tupac Lord. Yeah, yeah Jay-Z Lord is nothing like Tupac Lord. Yeah, Jay-Z yeah. Lord is like, man, look, he's a billionaire. That's crazy. You know, before that, this nigga was raising a lot of people. So, he they daddy. Like, uh-huh, uh-huh. Jay-Z. What? They got a Jay-Z pop. They got a Jay-Z bar for everything. Like, I don't Come oh, on, bro. Oh, I hate hearing shit like stands. that. But that's his stands. His stands are going to be stands, man. Yeah. Jigga stands are as annoying as any other body, anybody else stands. But his, but the Tupac lore in mythology is just, like I said, on another level. Especially since I was a kid when all this stuff was happening, man. So we would be watching TV, like some like videos, and then you'll see the MTV news, like, doom, 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 doom. Tupac just been shot like five times. You'd be like, wait, what? Oh, and then he'd be like, doo, 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 doo. he's out the hospital, dude's good. And you're like, wait, what? So, like, as a as a kid, this I, was, was something. I feel y'all because when my previous favorite rapper, J. Cole, if that would have happened to him, I'd have been like, that nigga is cold for real. Mm-hmm. But that was 50 whole didn't. thing. Like, that was, that's how they sold 50 to people at first. That's they true. were like, he's been shot 13 times and he's, and he's out here rapping. And then people would be like, wow. When the mainstream, like, it was. <laughs> and Eminem would bring him out and be like, 50 cent. They didn't hear his mixtapes like that. They were like, oh my yeah. God. Like, okay, that was a big deal. So, that's a, that's a, all that stuff matters, especially when you, like, to me, when I was young, when Tupac came out, I can't attach or detach my, uh, my, my nostalgia. Like, yeah, the nostalgia is crazy, crazy with Tupac. But in the movie, he did all the cool shit. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. That's my part. My, my my point. He and connect with everybody. Like I said, he's talented in movies. He's got he's got the hooks, you know, that that are dope. He's got bars that are dope. It's politically conscious. He, he's got he connects with everybody, and that's why I think one of the reasons why he's so high is because okay, you into the gangster stuff. Okay, well, I mean, Pac, you know, he's got even though he was no fucking get there, man. All right. You can't say that if he was shooting at the cops. If he got shot, walked out the hospital. What's more gangster than that? Like, you could say he wasn't really in a gang or something, but, like, you, you can't say he wasn't, he, he wasn't tough. I'm going to shot at them niggas if he knew they was cops, Come on, man. man. Come so, on, bro. So what? So what? You, you ain't shot at nobody. So, like, like what are you talking about? Hey, what is not, that? Hey, what is you that? ain't finna give what me on a... On a uh, that don't make no so you trying to give me the incriminate myself. That's not true. <laughs> Don't, hey, you don't know what I'm doing. I'll be moving. Nah, we live in Texas now. Nah. Everybody got a gun out here. Play if y'all nah, want to. Nah, nah, nah. You gotta shut up for a second. You gotta shut up for a second. Play that. You gotta shut up for a second. Duh, come on, man. Uh, yep. Pac is, man, come on, man. Pac is one of the goats, man. For real. Where, where, where you, let, let's, where you put him, though? Baldy, you, you, you grew up in the era with Pac. Where you putting him? Is he overrated? I mean, is he top ten, top five? What you got? Yeah, I got him in five. Um, my number, my order always changes of my favorites, um, and then what I like the most. But I, I think he's about my third, fourth, fifth, maybe depending on the day. That's not true. You just said you ain't listened to this album forever. So what album you listen to? Yeah, but all eyes on me. See, all eyes on me is the one. I all think eyes is, on me is, is, is the one overrated. Me. I, I think that one's overrated because to me it's too much fluff. It's too much that you I have some fluff play. on there. But the songs that's the the best songs on there are. I mean, this yeah. one got a few of them too. This one yeah. got Hail Mary on it. Hail Mary is is one of those ones, man. Right. I mean, all about like, you. All is... about you is one of my favorites. Of course, I love not that, that far. But you know, my favorite my favorite Tupac song is still um what you call him? uh. Fuck the mother nigga. Get around. I'm down for my- get around. <laughs> oh, yeah, I get around. Yeah, I love yeah. this one. I love this one. Yeah, it's I get around is one of my favorite Tupac songs. I mean, yeah, that's, that's, uh, I, lo- I love his flow on that one. I mean, for, for one of, for one of his radio hits, that's definitely one of my favorites for sure. But of course, I like the, you know, I always like the, the, you know, social, uh, songs, you know. It's because girl songs, songs suck too. That's the thing. Like, they fucking suck. It's so I get bad. wrong is not. I get around is, is not not uh, uh does not suck. What are you talking about? He's talking about some of the other uh, What's your phone number? 
Rather be your nigga sucks. Oh, I like Brandon. Um, oh, wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Hold on. We're not going to be talking bad about that one. <laughs> it's just. It's just. It's just, it's just it's, I mean, I can't fight it. It's like I'll mm-hmm. never be able to fight against Tupac because people and hold him like him, Jay Z. He never Big, went on stage and apologized to Biggie. Never. He didn't do it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, <laughs> our favorites didn't let us down. Okay, don't get mad at us just because yours let you down, man. Yeah, man. I, I got Pac in my top 10. I'd say he's top 10. To me, if you ask me which one was more overrated, I would say, I mean, I would, I, I got Pac over Biggie. Let me, let me put, let me put it that way. So. Nah, so. my feelings switch a lot of times, man. A lot, my, my feelings switch on that all the time. Cause, cause Big had the, the flows and shit, man. I love Big. Like he got something like that. One more chance, man. Come on. He got some. He just, so, he's, he's better in every way than me, dude. Than Pac. Are you talking about too. lyrically? Not that's can't be better talking. in every way if he doesn't. Yeah, can't be better in every way if he don't have some of the stuff that Tupac had. If you don't have worldly songs, I mean, I guess. I mean, I don't usually put worldly songs on my criteria, but I guess, man. I don't. I mean, <laughs> I don't know. Because <laughs> you, you like I said, you want to educate yourself, dog. I don't understand it. I don't get it. But um, uh, the the. Yes. This nigga that's 26 is so educated? Is that what you're telling me? He's so super educated. Yeah, he makes he the read, best educated he read way bars. More than you. Yes, exactly. I I know oh, it's shocking oh to you. It's shocking to you that somebody that somebody that young could could read a book, but yeah, not everybody. Not everybody. <laughs> Come on, man. He's so worldly at 26. Nah, he ain't never been nowhere except for inside the United States, but he's so worldly. Like, come on, man. Come on, dog. How you gonna t- down play? There's lots of other people who are young and that, that were leaders. Like, that, I don't understand. That don't make no sense. Not just that, but if you want to hate on people people in the top ten, like, um, so you got, let's see, let's see, you don't like Tupac. Do you like, you think Tupac is worse than, uh, like, Jay-Z? Personally, for me, yes, but. Do you think he's worse than I don't listen to Ice Cube, honestly. That's one person I never got to listen to. We were okay. supposed to listen to his album until J. Cole dropped that great album and then he <laughs> fucked it up. But <laughs> we still need to back, back to listen to. Yeah, we, we gotta listen to that. We here for you, man. We're gonna give you a gold coin like every week that you don't listen to J. Cole. It's gonna be like AA and you're gonna get, you know, a bunch of points. <laughs> We gonna well, support I'm gonna you. have a bunch of fucking points, man, because I'm not listening. Let me down. About to be your sponsor, man. Like yeah, when you about to listen to the code, yeah, we gonna I'm, talk to you. We gotta, every 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 week now. We gotta listen to somebody with some conscious conscious uh music, man. We gonna listen to some Ice Cube for sure. And they all better than fucking never. No, nah, come on, man. All right, so you is it the you don't even listen to lyrics? It's the crazy thing. You don't like lyrics like that. So and that's why the beat gotta be stronger for him. As, oh, so that's why the beats gotta be strong. Okay, so. If we listen to All Eyes on Me, that might be you like that one more. But I think there's a lot of skips on it. It's just too too long to me. It's got a lot of skips. Yeah, I, I agree. You know, you know I, said, I love that one. Yeah, uh, Big is better. <laughs> so okay, but Big okay, Life After Death got skips on it too, man. This is the thing I, I, I feel like Life After Death got skips on it. They both the double albums are too long, and they have they have skips. And Biggie has less material just overall to me. Yeah. Pac got. I, I can easily, yeah. Pac got a bunch of material, so he got a lot of great music. Biggie's stuff is much more limited. Uh, and we're yeah, talking about they have... going on songs, man. Big got some stupid, some stupid diss tracks, man. I mean, uh, some stupid, uh, like the pop hits that he features on. His verses is crazy. When he come on a song, I'm like, oh shit! I kind of when I'm gonna hear some of his songs in a little while, then I hear it again. I'm like, oh, this dude got a stupid ass flow and stupid ass bars throughout yeah. every song. And if you're like, talking he's, about, he's super good. and you, but if you're talking about Wait. like bad chick songs too, like yeah, nasty boy, like stuff like that. I, I don't, Biggie oh, yeah, got songs yeah. that I don't it's even. Terrible. If it comes okay. on, I don't even I'm want not like. A fan. Gotta, you're right. I'm not a fan <laughs> of niggas having sex on a record. I think that's fucking weird. I don't know why that was a thing in the '90s, but I think that's fucking stupid too. But I don't think they don't have the original version of Life After Death on streaming, right? They're remastered. 
They got the remaster version. They got the yeah, it's remaster. So it's twenty four songs. I don't know when record is one and two, but yeah, we're talking about a lot of skips. There ain't a lot of skips on here. This skip, man. Come on, we 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 could, uh, so we can review that next week. Then y'all want to? There's not a lot of skips on here. There's you said. What we doing next week? Life uh, after life death. death. We That's can, fine. We, we go that life after death and what you call? Them? And uh, we can this shit right now. <laughs> really? That certificate too. You want, listen? You want to talk? Well, listen, we got we got. Oh, look, we got to check and see if that that uh, if a new uh, Drake disc came out or something. It's twelve o'clock right now. Nah. <laughs> no, what's coming out is that Gang Green. That Gang Green man. I can't wait to hear this man. They put Royal Hand on there too. I saw. Oh okay. So you know, I already was loving that song. So. This album about to be a classic, man. I'm gonna start saying classic first. Oh, it just came out one minute. It's classic. It's classic. Classic. Yeah. <laughs> you heard that first beat? Oh man, you heard the you heard the hi hats on that one? Classic. Classic. Oh, went um, on my Twitter. Hold, hold on. I always I listen. I always um uh, that that um big crit uh skit uh always that always reminds me every time people talk about classic albums, you know, uh hate don't look good on it. You know, uh, I always I always love that. Classic. All right. So uh, let's look at the chat. People said, uh, you know, uh, uh, he blamed Diddy for those uh, for those uh, bad uh, Biggie songs. Um, that's possible. That's definitely true. Uh, Imperial says, <laughs> said, don't, uh, don't ruin Biggie for us, please. Uh, oh, he, man. He said Biggie was at the freak off or whatever. Puff got the videos. Terrible, man. Oh, well. Yo. Terrible. Yeah. Yo, <laughs> Terrible. yeah. Uh, <laughs> so, all right. Well, what That's else we got to talk about? What's the next time? All right, we we wanted to talk about uh man, uh or Beto wanted to talk about this uh Big Sean. Big Sean been doing the rollout. Uh, I don't know if y'all saw. Album. I don't know if y'all saw this. Uh, yeah, this. Um, was yeah. Uh, the uh, Tidy Desk. He did a he did that freestyle. He's, you know, he said, uh, you know, he's been lacking consistency, you know, the energy to compete with the bigger three, you know, uh, all that stuff. And then nobody been talking about this dude, dog. I feel like the Kendrick came in, squashed all his, his buzz. This dude, I mean. His whole I feel, rollout. Yeah, his whole rollout. He, he was planning on coming out with an album to compete with these guys or something. And, yeah, I feel like nobody talking about him. So... When we did our last draft, when we talked about overrated rappers, I said Big Sean. Uh, so B Dog was like, "No, nah, we gotta listen to Dark Sky Paradise." So uh, we went and listened to this trash album. You had all that, all that stuff to say about Tupac, and you wanted to listen to this garbage <laughs> rapper, dog. <laughs> I cannot believe you got the nerve to fix your face and say something about Tupac. Great song, great album. <laughs> you, <laughs> you listen to this trash. All right, let's talk about it, man. Let's do it. Uh, song for song. Oh, man. I'm let's not spend through. a lot of time on this. We got to do this draft. through this future album real quick, trying to see if Kendrick is on here. It's, How it's, you going to skip through it that fast? It's out? Oh, I, I didn't see it. Hold on. Where you got it? You let us know. If we still so don't trust him. him. Last time it was, it, was, uh, it was secret, so you probably got to, you know, really listen. That's why I'm skipping. Like, yeah, I'm going through it. No, no, if you hear a high pitch voice, I would have heard it. If you hear, if you hear a high pitch voice, all right, um, all right, let's talk about this album though, man. Uh, Dark Sky Paradise. I didn't hear no fire beats like like that yet. <laughs> Y'all want to do song for song? You said you wanted to skip through it, uh, man. Let's keep it quick, man. Which songs are good on here? All of them. Beat up. No, let me see. That's the problem. That's the problem right there. I hear people saying this let is the best album, though. That's album classic. Uh, it is the best song. Fuck with you it is. is the best song on there. I don't fuck with you. I hate that song, honestly. I Blessings that. fire. That's a, that's a new song every time. Uh, Super keep fire. Also, J Cole. You gotta remember to play that song instead. All <laughs> your fault is is the best song to me. All your fault. The the the, the Super the fire. Beat. That, that beat still. Uh, fuck with you. Fire. Oh, play no games. Like that one. Fire. I like play no games. I like Paradise. Uh, Paradise. Paradise is okay. I like. Um, um, I like. I don't like the I, one with Wayne. I like the one with uh, Janae. Uh, 
stay down. Stay oh, fucking fire. Like stay down. I know fire. And I thought the I outro like was cool. Down. I thought the outro was cool. I like deep. One man can change the world is fucking corny. I don't want to hear John Super Legend. Corny. All right. Let's 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 talk about this though. I like all outro. Right? Let me be clear. All right, let me get my hate off real quick. The, this dude yeah, is, is uh less interesting than every feature he has on this album. Okay? Uh, he's less interested than Drake. He's less interested than Kanye. He's less interested in E40. I mean, everybody getting bodied on every song. His album's full of features, and he getting bodied on every one. He's got tons of corny lines, like Imperial Stats said in the, in the chat. Uh, stuff like, uh, if the stars align, then I plan it or whatever, or, or you got to plan it or some yeah. stupid stuff. Super trash. He did line, it on one of the songs. I was like, so yeah, that's it's, what I was saying before, man. Not- Half the lines don't even make sense. He's stretching hard to make a metaphor that don't make sense, and it's corny. Like, <laughs> so this dude. His friends got to be the dumbest people around, man. Like, like him and his friends. He writing these bars, and he's like, "Yo, what you think about this one?" And his friends and are like, "That's hard." Album and his is a double friends disc. Have never seen good metaphors before. Like, none of them ever read books. None of them ever mm-hmm. seen like people writing on a high level. So they just instantly think all this stuff is good. Or they just gassing this guy because he's the one that's getting the money. How does he even get to the point where he's a top rapper if this is this is the best offerings he has? I don't understand that. Yeah, I don't I don't get it. Uh Leroy Green said that uh finally famous mixtapes are, are where his good stuff's at. Uh but a lot of people say this is his best album, Leroy, so I don't know uh what the disconnect is. is. Yeah. Uh uh, so Leroy Green said, "Issue with Big Sean is good music and Def Jam marketing him like a teen rapper." Uh, yeah, uh, I don't. And that's think true. That's... I never cared about his marketing that much, though. Yeah, but he was still mentioned all the time with the big th- three. He was like the big four at one point or whatever. But my thing is, his, his I don't hear the bars, Leroy. I don't hear the bars. That was the good music cosign, man. You got that good music shine on you. You gonna look better than you really is, man. Right, and he. You know what he, I'm saying? He, he got to rap, yeah, exactly. He got to rap on over some of the best producer beats, Kanye beats and stuff like that. Uh, so you would think if you if he good, then it would show. But I feel like just yeah, he's not that good. He's not that great. He's definitely not that great, man. He's definitely not that great. He's I. He has good lines, but then you have really corny lines, and I'm just like, where'd that come from, man? Like you just need some editing, maybe some rewrites or something. Like it just don't some of that just ain't, ain't it. Yeah. Uh <laughs> Super Duper said, no offense, I can no longer uh respect your opinion on music, B Dog. Uh, I don't know if that's cause you like uh Big Sean or cause you hating on Tupac, but either one, it, these both are are, you know, bad offenses, big offenses. I don't like uh, Big Sean. Don't say that. He has a like good him. album. I didn't his second uh, his album after this, I didn't like as much. I mean, I'm not gonna say I don't dislike Big Sean. I like him; he's cool, but I don't expect a lot from him. Um, other and other yeah. breaking news: this uh, "We Still Don't Trust You" is a double disc. The second half Ooh. is where he gets to his. Uh, it's only seven songs in the second half, and that's where he gets to the toxic shit. We got some ASAP Rocky diss towards Drake because you know Drake always be talking about Rihanna, okay. and ASAP Rocky is with Rihanna, so we got that on there. Okay. But I didn't hear no Kendrick. Okay, all right. Incest, he ain't double dip. There, he waiting for he waiting for Drake to go first. He waiting for mm-hmm. Drake to go first. Is that that's, that's smart? That's smart because he got to see what Drake come come with. But uh, all right, that's cool. So the the second se- uh, seven songs, that's where it is toxic. Okay, all right. We gonna we gonna yeah. break it down. Check it out tomorrow morning, man. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm sure there's subtle disses throughout the whole album, but yeah. That's just where I heard the ASAP Rocky disc, uh, and I ain't hear no uh, Kendrick yet, so we'll see. Uh, so Leroy said uh, he's cool. It's a blog era rap, cool kids uh, type stuff. Uh, you had to be there. Now listen, Leroy. I like I, the cool kids at the time, but yeah, yeah. and I love the blog era. I listen to all this, but to me, he not better than Wale. He not better than any of the big three. He not better than I mean I, I don't know who else was a uh, big crit. He definitely not better than Big Crit. I, I just don't see what's impressive about him. This this song this album sounds super poppy. Mac Miller. Mac Miller, yeah. He's not better than Mac Miller to me. <laughs> uh, I, I, he uh probably this, rather uh, listen to Wiz Khalifa. His hooks are way too repetitive. Shout out to Wiz. 
Yeah, uh, to to me his hooks are way too repetitive. He like he'll do like five hooks, like it'll be like five different choruses on the, on the song, like over and over again. I mean, it'd be like two verses, and then the verses be lame, and then they'll start doing a fast rap. I hate when listen. This is the other thing. I, I'm I'm catching on to these rappers who want to start rapping fast to make it sound like you you killing the mic, but you ain't really you ain't really killing nothing. You you doing the same basic rhyme scheme, all right and and you still rhyming the same. He he be a lot of times. Big Sean around the same word over and over again. Just because you said an N word five in five different lines, don't mean you said a bunch of rhymes, dog. Or if you say you know, uh, check the 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 check. That's not rhyme. You just said I'm the repeat the same word. I double trouble because I bubble trouble because I'm double trouble. Be like, wait, what? Come on. Um. So yeah, that's that's interesting, man. It was it's a it's a win. Yeah, it's a win. I, 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 I can't believe you. <laughs> Hype this dude up. Let's get to the draft, man. Let's get to the draft. Man. All right, we still doing yeah, that? Or y'all want to get, get out of here? Big Sean, you got to kick rocks with Big Sean. Now we got to do the draft, huh? We okay. have a draft? All right, all right. I thought we'd we be on here a long time already. So, all right. Uh, what are we drafting? Uh, we drafting replacements in the, in the big three? We got we to gotta draft uh, J. Cole's replacements to the big three? Fuck J. Cole. Fuck the yeah. big three. It's just big me, nigga. Exactly. We replaced. We, we we just drafted all the people who done moved up the list uh, uh, from uh, J Cole. Okay, so all the people better than J Cole. We should have drafted ever. somebody for Kendrick years ago. Then if that's what we doing, <laughs> really. <laughs> uh, yeah. So let's uh, let's go ahead. You know, uh, like always, B Dog, you got the first pick. Uh, who's better than J Cole now? Miller wasn't good. <laughs> <laughs> And hop off it. Do you? I already said I'm adding uh, Freddie Gibbs into my big three now. Boom! First pick of the draft, Freddie Gibbs. Uh, definitely, definitely, uh, Freddie Gibbs. I don't know why he's not mentioned in that same. He don't make pop music. That's why he don't make radio hits. Uh, his he don't have cooks and stuff like that on his on his uh, all his tracks. So, all right, uh, that's a good first pick. Good first pick. I'm going big crit, man. Big crit, dog. Uh, super underrated. I don't know why this dude does have hooks. Has songs that should be radio oh, hits. Lord. Don't know why he's not bigger. Big crit. Just say this nigga's Number name. One. Hurry up, bro. Number Fuck. One. We don't want to hear this shit. Go ahead, Baldy. So tired of you gassing this nigga. <laughs> hey, Big crit and Lupe. If this nigga could put him in the list, they gonna be in there. Y'all just gotta count on that. This is the first I'm time I ever drafted big. big Crit in any draft. What are you talking about? We we like I'm saying if they one could of his be albums, on the list, and then we have a single be on the Lupe list, album. He gonna be on. Good. <laughs> well, I'm, I don't want to just because I don't want to hear no fucking glazing every time. <laughs> I'm tired of these niggas, bro. I don't want to hear that. But go uh, ahead. You mad because your favorite right, your favorite just fell off. Hey, dog. That's a fact. <laughs> I am. That's a fact. Uh, all right. Uh. Baldy, I'm you take, got man. Two picks. I want to take. Uh, can I take currency? Does currency qualify for this? Yeah, yeah. For currency qualifies. All right, I'm gonna take currency. Man. Cause Cause I, I, don't I don't like qualifications of this exact thing. Because I, I mean, what is it? Currency, currency came out before them. No, nah, um, currency first album is is oh nine. Mm, oh yeah, yeah. Is that true? Yeah. This ain't no mixtape. And this even so, and then I mean, Talk one and two came out two, uh, 2010. That's when he like really, you know, caught on, or at least yeah. that's when I caught on to him. Pilot Talk one and two. Yeah, Pilot Talk was a, was the one. All right, cool. Yeah, man. So I'm supposed to pick somebody else now. Who else, man? Who else came out during that time? Oh, you know what? I'm gonna go with man. I'm gonna go with a, I'm gonna go with a trash list, dog. Right? Um, who else is in the? <laughs> Who else came out? What years? Oh yeah, I could pick um, Nip Nipsey. Oh okay, that's a great pick. Great pick, Nipsey. All right, um, I'm going. Uh, next, I'm going. Is it okay? My second pick is gonna be Sky Zoo, man. Sky Zoo. Uh, definitely underrated. Uh, you know he got the album of the year so far to be this year right now. So let's go. B dog, two for you. Like I said, I don't know the the qualifications we're putting on this list, but Man, if we just picking rappers, my favorite dog, rappers that, that that moved up past past the uh, J Cole now. 
The blog era rappers. Yeah. Is, is uh, Boldy James a blog era rapper? No. No, that's current. That's current era. We're not talking about the streaming era. We're talking about like when I was in high school, when we were in high school, dog, th those rappers. Okay, actually, I found some. If all right, now this one, this one mean a lot to me. I'm gonna put ASAP Rocky on there. Okay, all right, that's a good pick. That's Even good though pick. he hasn't made a good album, and who knows how long. You got another one. And hold on, I'm Hobson, just getting the great pick. Hobson. Nah, nah. Pick a uh, pick a uh, pick a uh, Ace Hood. <laughs> nah, I'm gonna go. Mm. I guess I'll go Cuddy. Mm, I was about to say, man, okay. you was hating on Cuddy. Man, when Cuddy album dropped, man. <laughs> yeah, I don't listen. His first two albums are great. Yo, man, I thought his last album was good, man. He got some songs on uh, there that I, that's been getting some burn from me. Yeah. Uh, yeah. All right. Next for me, uh, I'm going to go. Uh, the, you can get Asher Ross. Real sense, you keep talking about uh, Lupe. Lupe is before that, I feel like. I don't feel like Lupe counts. 2006. That's, I, don't, I don't feel like. Oh, uh, no. Yeah, 06 is later. Um, let's go with. Uh, I'm gonna go with. Uh, well, does Elzai count? Uh, sure, man. Uh, let, let me. I'll just go. You know what? Uh, I'll I'll stick with uh Joey Joey. Uh, you know. Yeah, that lame nigga. No. All right. He's terrible. What's how is he? Okay. Damn, what's wrong with him? You got you got a lot of hate for he's everybody. Terrible. This dude is just distraught, dog. He's he's J. Cole yeah. still hurting his feelings, man. That shit was terrible. We reviewed that era, album and guess what I said? It was terrible. Go ahead. Imperial says oh, oh, 06 is definitely when uh the food and liquor came out and his big saves came out before that. That's why he uh I, I don't really include him in this conversation. Uh, uh, is my turn? Yeah, yeah, go ahead. I'm picking J Rock. J Rock, okay, Ooh. all right. Oh, all right, all right. Um, uh, I'll go. Uh, you, got two, you got two, Baldy. Oh, um, oh, sheep. I got another one. I guess I picked. The, can, does Rock Marcy count? Mm, I, I guess Rock so. Marcy. Oh yes, hell yeah! I'm definitely taking Rock Marcy then. When's his first album drop? Mossberg 2010, huh? Oh yeah, then that's yeah. That's oh hell yeah! I'm straight now. I'm good now. I'm good. I got Rock Marcy. I'm straight. All right, you lose. I'm about to win this. I'm, win this. I'm, be I'm about to win this. Okay. There's no way you win. I'm gonna be honest. Uh, I'll take Wale. I'll take Wale. Uh, Wale, man, his big safes uh, were definitely dope. Uh, I feel like his albums are uh, a little uh, definitely disappointing. But uh, mixtape about nothing, more about nothing. Uh, the uh, uh, back to the feature uh, uh, mixtape, all of those fire, fire mixtapes. He's got some classic mixtapes. So uh, I know y'all, man. The people hating on me, yo, Rock Marcy got a fire catalog, man. You tripping Imperial stats? You are losing this one. Sorry, brother. Um, all right. I'm going to say, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, I got to pick two. So I got to make sure I get a fire group to round it out. I don't know if I want to go with the uh, hip hop favorite or my favorite. Mm. You want Iggy right. Azalea? No, 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 no. I got, a, I got some fire ones. I got some fire ones that y'all probably not even going to name. Like, French Montana. I'll take Wiz. Even though I wasn't on Wiz back then. I wasn't... I didn't start liking Wiz, honestly, until I went to college. And, yeah, that was... Yeah, so it took me a while to get on Wiz. But now I go back to that cushion OJ a lot. So I'll take Wiz. And... Last one. Oh, I don't even like this nigga as much as everybody else. I don't want to say him. Um. All right. I'll, it's two people. All right. Any, 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 I'm gonna just. I'll take Childish Gambino. 
Mm, oh, okay, wow. Yeah, mm-hmm. nah, you lost with that pick. You lost with that pick. Nobody voted for Chalmers game, you know, man. Um, <laughs> yeah, right. He got some classic albums. Can I take Elzar? Can I take Elzar? Uh, Elzar, I first time, yeah, I'm glad to the album. But, uh, but I know he was up in Slum Village before that. So, uh, I don't Summer know what, what is fire, you nigga. Tell me what, if it counts. I don't know when he first joined Slum Village. Yeah, it was it was a while ago, like, a while back. So, all right, uh, we won't we won't pick that though. We won't pick Elzar. Uh, let's see. Instead, I'll go with I'll go with Mac Miller, man. I'll take Mac Miller. You're I'll take Mac Miller. That's good value in the uh, fifth round, man. That's good. I'm value. going with. I'm going with. I'm about to win. I won this, dog. I'm getting Titty Boy on my squad, huh? Okay. See, I was okay. gonna pick him, okay. but uh, I won. It's over with. Y'all lost. All right, just give me my dub, man. I'm on a win streak, bro. Three four in a row. No way you win this one. No, I can't be stopped, dog. I can't be stopped. Like, I think there's no way you win this. Yeah, not at all. I don't think you win this. this. I know why this. I won? Because I didn't pick Sci High. Yeah, yeah, mm. no, Sahai ain't winning nothing, man. Sahai ain't winning nothing. <laughs> Nobody picked Jay Electronic, huh? I, 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 See, I that's how I thought y'all were going to take it. I was going to pick, no, well, I was going to, no. Jay Electronic don't got no albums. I would have picked Blue. I I, I would mm. definitely have picked Blue. I love Blue. Jigga I, I didn't know if uh if uh if Blue would be too early or not. Oh, but, yeah, Blue would work. But, yeah, Blue would have worked. You're right. Yeah, I'm, I'm, no, Blue, I'm done. Blue, Blue is too early. But this like me like you did that purple tape off, and that was violation. So There's no way the purple tape should have been included in that other draft. Dog, you you still bitter about losing, dog? Don't come on, dog. Damn, I'm never gonna dog. lose again, dog. That's I, I me, won bro. again. This, yo, look at my list. <laughs> I won. My shit is nasty. Yeah, we could. Uh... All right, all right, man. We've been on it a long time. Man. It's late, so. Anything? Anything else? Uh, oh yeah, we are gonna have a discussion about. Oh, uh, oh lord, Jay this nigga Jay Cole is on uh, is on the future album, guys. Oh, for real? Which song? So that's yeah. good. Red leather. Red leather. He's on the future. Mmm. That, that's mm. gonna be singing like Ruben Stutter, man. This is my sorry for twenty twenty. Yeah, that's weak for... too. That's weak. I don't know, man. Listen, J. Cole, I will be saying, Pelicans won. Pelicans won. Yeah, Pels win. You know what I'm saying? That's positive. So, yeah, bro. Exhibit, you're right. You're right, Leroy. I should have put I should have put Jay Electronica. Why I didn't pick him? But I still won, though. I still got the best. I got the best lyricists. I got the best smoking songs. I got the best street dude. And I got... Who else I picked? Oh, and I got a West Coast dude that's got nice. Oh, yo, I won. I won this for sure. No. Yo, y'all lost, huh? Make I sure you y'all recognize y'all lost this one. I should have. I should have picked blue. That's the only only mistake uh, I feel. But I definitely got. Come on, man. Sky Zoo. Uh, what I say? Wait, I got. I, yeah, come on. Hey, All stars over there. Say what? You had the backpack All Stars. Exactly. Yeah, that's me all day. All right. <laughs> What a terrible Cole verse, too. So happy you went out on this bullshit-ass verse. You didn't listen to him again. You couldn't even hold out for a whole week. <laughs> yeah, bro. You just, no, you I didn't hear his verse. I wanted to see if he just drank. This is some weeks, bullshit. You're coming back to, two weeks, you're going to back to Cole. Like, I'm sorry, Cole. Guys, just skip the Cole verse. It's not worth it. This, er, Yeah, all the slander on the internet is what this nigga did. This nigga singing on a fucking future. Hey, this future album sucks already. I could tell. They ain't got no fire beats on it. This red leather sucks. We out of here, man. Peace. Y'all have a good night, Peace. man. Peace. Fuck this shit. I'm going to put that gang green right now, though, man. I'm going to put that gang green.